There we go. Just turn that down a bit. And hello, everybody. It is Wednesday, and uh, I'm a little late because we, I was having connection issues with my internet, which was just like one of the worst days for that to happen. When it, uh, on a day I'm streaming, which is really annoying, but hopefully everything should be a okay. Hopefully, which is annoying because it means it takes us a little, it takes a little time off of actually uh, going into uh, 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 Genjin, uh, which in that case, uh, which usually I usually spend like ten minutes channeling just to make sure everything's working. But it seems like everything is working. Just some small notes. My desk is uh, back to ne against the wall, and I've done some uh, since I had to move again. I did some reconfiguration of the. Uh, the phone's positioning, so maybe it might be a little bit better or worse, who knows. Computer's on the desk, on the table next to PS5 now, so I don't have to worry about dust or cats knocking over. I've been meaning to do that, that's done, and um, and I uh, have, have not had much caffeine late this week, because I'm still waiting on my Avanti GG to get here, which... After emailing them and they finally sent me an email from the, the delivery service because I went with a different delivery service because usually with when they because they had two different delivery options so usually go FedEx which is usually cheaper but this time around it was more so I went with the other one and now I regret doing that because clearly what has happened is that the, the other delivery company which his name is uh, A 
APC clearly sat on the project and it wasn't until I contacted uh, them and then they contacted us back <sighs> I contacted them back and got them off their asses so it's kind of probably, probably going to be another week before I get my, my caffeine back in my system although I've had some small bits of caffeine um uh, uh my brain went dead it went completely utterly dead And um, so I'm going to still have barely any energy for this week. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, other than that, everything seems to be fine for the internet. For now, hopefully it doesn't die on me. Brain, so I'm, I'm my brain's doing blanks. What is um this that's updating for you exactly? Just out of, out of curiosity. <clears throat> oh, but I think I think rather than waste any more time as well, we'll we get into the game because I'm sure there's going to be. I also updated it this morning, so at least one 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 silver line about the internet dying for me. At least it didn't happen while I was updating Genshin Impact. That's that's at least a plus side on me. Um. Uh oh, oh god damn it! I usually leave it on here when they do these major updates because usually when you get into the game, there's usually dialogue from Paimon. Like immediately as you um as you enter the game. So imagine let's see if I'm right. Paimon? Got anything to say? Apparently there's also an update for Dia, they basically buffed her or something. A lot of question marks here. Yeah. We get to those later. I think there's also a new no damn no, I mean, not that. Once there was a I meant it because I think the roles now the these two, which we might do end of stream. These another one is the situation with these counters. I'm not too bold if we don't get them or not. <sighs> uh, uh, but it'd be interesting. I've seen some people manage to get them both. Because also for this week's schedule, the Genjin is on the Saturday as well. Because like with 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 uh, Sumeru. Those were very long, and I think having one of them on Saturday, especially if it's like the two um, uh, things. The because uh, uh, the, the, there's two uh, story things. My brain is a complete mess. The first time we came here. Uh, uh. Oh, Paimon remembers. Nahida's consciousness had been trapped by the doctor, but we followed the clues she left behind to help her. Good memory, Paimon. Well, Paimon's so memory's better than mine. already passed since then, and it seems Sumeru's changing for the better now that Nahida's in charge, right? Paimon just hopes this peace will last a long time, and then the Hida won't have any more new problems to deal with. Yes, but as long as we're around. Yeah, guess you're right. Hmm. We somehow always find ourselves right in the thick of it. <laughs> Who knows what will happen next? Come to think of it, maybe it's all because of you. Maybe you're just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> Look at his face. I was. I was just thinking that you might be the the problem, Paimon. <laughs> me? Before Paimon ran into you, Paimon never ran into any trouble. At most, when she was super tired, Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool and sucked out into sea. And even then, you fished Paimon out. Uh, anyway, 
For Nahida's sake, maybe we should think about heading to our next destination for now. Next up, Fontaine? Ah, look who it is. Running into you in a place like this? I can see you two still love wandering around. Ah, uh, it's Dia. Hey! Oh god, I love her. And a lot of people too. Oh, it's Dia! Hmm, since when are we just wandering around? We're usually taking care of some serious business. Even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. But never mind that, what brings you here? I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. <laughs> Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. That's when I saw you two all the way over there. Chatting away. What were you two talking about anyway? We're trying to leave Samara and head to Fontaine. Someone's eavesdropping. Huh? Y you serious? Deadly. Can't say I saw that coming. Hmm, but you are travelers after all. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. Aww, she's gonna miss us. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. Aww, don't make me feel sad. No, I am. Well, she's part of my party, so technically I'm not gonna mi miss her. <laughs> hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? What do you say? Thanks, but no need. Oh, Paimon had no clue you'd miss us so much. But don't worry, we'll come back to see everyone when we get a chance. Yeah, the most likely would be like another story quest with her. <laughs> Sounds good. All you need crossed. to do to get to Fontaine Ooh. is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Knowing you two, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. Oh. Looks like I can actually do it. There was a recent update for the for the hand tracking software. And it's almost, it almost recognizes me to, uh, crossing my fingers. So, uh, when are you leaving? We'll be leaving as soon as we've finished a few more uh, little things. Oh, wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Now, where is that list Paimon made? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paimon and your food. Hmm. That guy looks tired as fuck. I know that feeling. I see. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. It's sad enough to see you go like this. Oh, You can come with us if you want. Eh? Eh? I mean, she likes it. She's in my party. Though, anyway. now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. <laughs> By the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? In... in her case... Oh! Good point. Then there's no need to bother her in the real world. Then, I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. Oh, God, I really love, I really love her, but she's making me... Oh. Take care. Bye, dear. Bye, bye, Sumeru. Oh, I just transport us to where Fontaine. For, for, uh, near to Fontaine. Yeah, I can't even get the words out of my mouth. Fontaine. Well, I am excited though for this because, like I said, I've pretty much like stayed dark on the new regions. I always do this new regions because always just. Oh, so I like to just ex explore and see for myself. Oh, my hand's broken. That is a beautiful view. Wait, I realized they probably gave us some primo gems too. No, it's still. <laughs> I think I had a picture because it's supposed to. There's numbers that pop up in the top corner that you're supposed to really cover because it. Well, it, it's just to let people like. Um, is that the picture? Yes, that's the picture. There we go. Um, although I've not done it in the past, I, I'm. Um, I feel like it's still 
good idea to do now. Four. I actually might do one some more. I might be nothing to buy a, um, some more um, <laughs> wishes. I think more than enough. Let's get ten. All right. <sighs> So we're we just gonna go that way, just gonna drop down. Where is this in the map though? So just at the edge of here. I guess that makes sense. So do I just dive back? Oh yeah, there's a boat right there. Alright then. <sighs> love a good water. I'm one of those outliers where I love a good water level. Having a region that's completely consistent of water is kind of really cool. It's like the, the, there's small things I do know about the new region, like the fact that there's <coughs> underwater seconds, which is going to be cool. I'm sure it'll give us like some sort, sort of like. I hope one thing I hope is we don't have an auction uh, level thing, and I hope that um, it gives us like some sort of breathing apparatus. Oh, it's a turtle. Uh, friend or foe, turtle. Oh, oh, it's popping blue. Hello, hello, little guy. He's not as friendly. Oh, I'm not going to attack him. I don't want to know this. It's always weird to see um, animals around that don't attack him. I know there was some in, in Samaria as well. Because also Fond Pain is supposed to be more like technologically advanced than most other regions. Oh, I can do the thingies here as well. Oh. I can just shine across, but this is much more than nice, so we'll dock a little forty bolt. Awesome music, that's what's going to be interesting. What's this little uh, fella? Excuse me, the trip world. Oh, it's a. Uh, very. All right, Ian. <laughs> oh, I'm not reading all that. What's this gun? Then we can see what the music's going to be like. Don't dive into the water like that. Oh. Oh, that's in town. Oh, after crossing all that sand and water, we finally made it. Oh, this must be Fontaine's port. Wow! Everything looks so advanced in Fontaine! Paimon's heard that the industry here is extremely developed, and there are all kinds of unusual machines! It's kind of, I'm, I'm guaranteed it's kind of like a, like a steampunk vibe, because that's what I'm getting right now. It's about what I imagine. Just seeing the sights as a tourist is nice, but maybe it would be better if we found something to do! Like what do you think? Let's start by meeting the Hydro Ar Archon. Good idea! Nahida gave us loads of useful information. Seeking out the Seven is probably still our best source for information at this point. Our journey is to find my sibling. Yeah! The more we can learn, the better. The more, the merrier. So, what do you think the Hydro Archon's like? Will we get along? Oh, fuck. Well, she has said that she has a very unique personality. Whatever that means. I forgot to hear the little picture off in the corner. <laughs> to learn about a nation's god, start with the nation's people. There seems to be some locals talking over there. Let's go see if we can join the party. If you ask me, it's a tragedy how things ended for him. Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. I was expecting a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity that it never happened. Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. 
Also, I do know this is the region of, of justice. So it's gonna be like a whole courtroom thing. I wonder if that's gonna be like this. It's gonna be like a whole like courtroom session with like some weird new gameplay mechanic. Something. Uh, excuse me. Can I help you too? I couldn't help but notice you standing here listening. Uh, hi. <laughs> We're travelers new to Fontaine. And we had something we wanted to ask. But you seem to be really busy talking about some kind of play, so we didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> uh, play? Oh, no, no, no. We're talking about something that really happened. In fact, it's a case that was just heard a few days ago. Really? Like, a real trial? But the way you were talking about it and the words you used just now made it sound like some kind of story. Well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? And what you see in reality mm, may also be winking. someone deliberately putting Just on thinking. an act while harboring ulterior motives. Whether something is true or not simply isn't that important. The main thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. What's it? Uh, the world is our stage? It... Oh, but it looks like you're not from around here. You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles, or more commonly known as just the Opera House. I mean, what gave it away we weren't around from here? Is it the fact that our clothes are completely different from yours? They see, see trials as a sort of opera? But, uh, shouldn't court cases be treated a little more seriously than that? Not to question Fontaine's way of doing things. It's just that putting someone on trial is usually a very serious thing. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. And as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Nouvellet. As well as the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, a machine created by the Archon. Between the machine and the Chief Justice, false charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. I wonder how many times the voice actor had to say those wor words and, and not fumble them, because I know I would. I, I keep forgetting that Fontaine's based off of Fra France, so it's going to be a lot of French uh, words used. You're a treat? Is it some kind of machine too? Oh, Paimon's curious. We should check it out if we get the chance. Wait, Paimon almost forgot to ask you a question. Um, do you know what we should do if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? Oh, that's easy. Just go to the Opera House. Lady Farina practically lives there. You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. Huh. I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. Thanks. Make an appointment? Huh. Is the Hydro Archon super busy taking care of official stuff? Wait, didn't you say that she's always at the Opera House? No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. Ah. That's right. After all, she is the Archon. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time, people can't get enough of her. Huh. First time Paimon's ever heard of an Archon being described that way before. Yeah. <gasps> Wait! Paimon gets now! Archon is kind of like a big celebrity here, right? Yeah, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Perhaps you could even say our mascot. Oh, I already have my mascot with me. <laughs> right, time on. Hang on. This is still Fontaine's Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. Yes, you're right. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested and find myself face to face with Monsieur Nouvellet. So, no, I'm not going to remotely try and say that. <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here. But nobody's going to be arrested for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. 
Oh, so it's like a fair, 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 a fair and just icon. Then it seems that people of Fontaine really like their hydro icon. All right, I think we get it. Thank you. At least we now know that we can find the hydro icon at the opera house. But who knows how long making an appointment will take? <sighs> Guess we could have a look around the city in the meantime. Hey. What are you looking over there for? There's a girl over there. Huh. Oh. Something's the matter. <gasps> She's not going to jump into the water, is she? Uh, maybe we better go check on her. Go check on just a bit more. Where's the? I'm assuming the, the, the statue is up there. Because it looks like it might be above us. Because if it was right there, it'd be like here. Which we can get to when, we, when the story progresses us there. Question mark. Uh, hello there. Excuse me. Are you alright? No, she's all left actually. Huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm fine. Thanks. Oh, okay then. We just noticed that you seem to be worried about something. About many things, actually. But there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. That doesn't sound healthy. I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. See? Uh... You're pointing at the sea. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water? Maybe they're mermaids. No people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. Mm. And though I can still see that hill clearly in my memories, now it's been completely submerged. Ah. He would skip and jump. Tossing sand in the wind. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. But now, the water is gradually swallowing our memories. <sighs> it won't be long before it swallows us. Uh, sorry, Diamond doesn't really get what you mean. I mean, she means like a flood? Ah, I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Are you Lynette's new friends? Oh, and you are? Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Linny, and this is my sister Lynette. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. Nah, what gave it away? Nice to meet you! And this is the traveler. We just arrived in Fontaine. We were just talking with your sister. Uh, even though we didn't really get what she was saying. I still want to know what's going on with these two specifically because they're supposed to be siblings, but she's clearly a cat girl. Like, either one of their parents is a cat person and one of them isn't. And it probably is that. It's probably that case. It's probably like one of their parents was a cat person, one of them wasn't, and one of them got the genes from whatever parent was the cat person, and the other didn't. Hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. I really like the designs in these. There's going to be some really fun designs for Fontaine. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us! Paimon's always the one talking for some reason. <laughs> There's hardly anything left for me to say with, with, with you around Paimon. So she's insinuating we're like brother and sister. <laughs> so that's how you think it is? I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. <laughs> 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 Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. <laughs> so, what did Lynette mean just now when she
and she said that the water is engulfing your memories, and that it won't be long before it engulfs you too. <sighs> Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some time now. Ah, good old prophecies. Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word, because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. Or what's happening? Where to begin? The beginning? Hmm. Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? Uh, you just told us anything. Uh, did all the introductions earlier not count? Hello, traveler. I do like his hat. Hello, uh, Lenny. Is he gonna shake Paimon's hand? And hello, Paimon. Uh, I guess not. He's just gonna pat it on the side. Hey! Why did Paimon get a handshake? Oh. You're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? My hands are tiny. <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. Oh! Alright then. Well, Paimon's just happy to have a local friend now. <laughs> By the way, we were just getting ready to go to the Opera House to meet the Hydro Archon. Would you be able to show us the way? Oh, so you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the Opera House later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Please, follow me. <laughs> Excited. Because as I said, I don't know what Fontaine looks like. I've been staying dark on this because I like the excitement of uh, finding out what everything looks like. I wonder how many people pulled both of these two at once. So they're both in the band uh, in the, in the, in the, in the of uh, You said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems Lady Farina has come to see you. Ooh. Oh, I love the, 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 the police uniforms. Ah. Ah. No, that's not the Archon. I think I already know. Yeah, that... That's her. So, she's the Hydro Archon? But, how did she know we were looking for her? My dear people, rich and poor, those with cup in hand and those with nothing at all, raise your glasses in celebration! If you don't have one, then just raise your hand in lieu. Oh, I do like her design. You can all see. Oh, two damn, those eyelashes. Familiar though. travelers have arrived in our nation. Come, let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and his companion who have journeyed here from distant lands. I love her eyes. She's got like uh, two different shades of blue, but also they both have eye, eye drops in her irises. Uh, is she talking about us? I believe so, Paimon. I've long heard of the turmoil and chaos you left in your wake as you visited other nations, but I welcome you nevertheless. No, I have come to receive you personally. I guess it makes sense. By this point, what we've done has probably reached the rest of, of the land. Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will never entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. Of course, seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. 
It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. Intelligent people always gather under the <laughs> correct banner. Uh, how, it kind of looks like it's got little, like little, like like tips of a crown. I, Thosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro, and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. Now, you may rejoice in this. Well, finally, the offering was easy enough. Yeah, Hyman still can't believe it. Feels like we've only been here for a few minutes. But the Hydro Icon's entrance was, uh, how should Hyman describe it? A little over the top? Flashy is the word I would say, right? Kind of like her stuff. <laughs> Outlanders, you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. Don't forget that even the gods can be divided into the mediocre and the excellent. I suppose it's only natural for you to be awestruck by my abilities. You had best stop and consider. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette necessary to communicate with a god? All it takes is a flick of my finger for me to know everything about you. Loving the music. Whoa. Talk about sounding high and mighty. Feels like she can't get over herself. <laughs> Arrogant is the word you're looking for? Just a little bit. Oh? What's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough? Hmm, what else should I say then? Uh, is she waiting for us to start talking? Mm -hmm. Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! Wait. Does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? How did I not notice before? Really? You clearly point out that we weren't from here. Her hair color, her hair color is blonde. And it took until now you realize that we could have been the, the, the blonde traveler. Hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? Of course, that's the blonde traveler, the one all those stories are about. Lady Farina came here to personally see him. Oh, I bet this is gonna be the duel of the century. Oh, I've got to see this. I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. <laughs> yes, but don't get too excited now. My dear believers and spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy. And despite the noise, I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. You may consider this my reward to all of you. I have determined that there will be an epic duel between myself and this traveler from another land, just as you were hoping to see. Ooh, time to do 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 oh. Now she wants to, to fight? Are we getting a little ahead of ourselves? Bring it on! Hmm? <laughs> Are you not afraid? Might I remind you that this is a duel against the divine? We literally faced a god two nations ago. We ended up against a fucking riding showrun. You think we're, 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 we're afraid to take, take on another one? What are you trying to do, Traveler? Provoking a god in front of her people? <clears throat> Stand down, Clorand. I admire his bravery. Few have the courage to draw their sword against a god. He is obviously a true warrior. <laughs> 
Unfortunately, people nowadays only crave to be thrilled, and a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. Then war. Huh. Yeah, she's right. Just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. <clears throat> On Araneus, criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. I'm getting a bit old to tell the truth. You see. Then, as the god of justice, justice. I shall face this traveler in another kind of duel. A duel in court! Oh, objection! I hope we get to the save now. All right! Now that'll be worth seeing! Oh. Right, this is Fontaine, after all. It's such a grand opera house, it would be a pity not to use it. Why do you care so much about the crowd's reactions? It seems you've spent a little too much time in the opera house. Besides, how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? And we have any crimes. <laughs> oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? Obvious? According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine city limits during the first three days of each month. You are clearly guilty of violating this law, no? <laughs> oh, so that's what they've done wrong. Mm, that's our lady Farina. No one knows the laws of Fontaine like she does. You call that obvious? What kind of law is that? Wait, flying object? <gasps> you mean Paimon? Precisely. Now, if you two have no objections. Then, in the name of the Objection! Hymo Archon, I order your arrest. My apologies, Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil the fun, but if you would allow me to interject, I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a flying object. You tell her, Linny! Finally, someone who's not crazy. How could anyone call Paimon a flying object? Ah, great magician, Linny. My beloved citizen, I'll permit you to object, but how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. Ooh. Yay, magic! I think you said snap there. Ooh. Oh. What? Ta da! Ta da! What's that on Paimon's back? Hey! When did you do that? When Nimi put. Ah! Aha! He did that when he shut the hand touch at her back. I must have knew this was going to be a thing. There. As you can all clearly see, <laughs> Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. This rope has been in the Traveler's hand all along. It was just that no one could see it before. <laughs> you call that magic? <laughs> You've got to be joking. I thought it was pretty good. Nice one. Huh. I'm not sure what to think. It seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold water. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Because she's the Archon. Very amusing, Linny. Just the sort of unexpected twist that I enjoy. With you here, today's performance can finally be called complete. 
You know what I just realised? Her theatrics make me think of uh, official. They have similar vibes. Performance? You see all this as a performance? In which case, consider the matter of your trial resolved. The god of justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. But when there are valid grounds, I will not only judge travelers from abroad, but even the gods of other lands. <laughs> <laughs> I think Venti would want to stay away from here then. <laughs> I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo! Toodaloo! mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation, just in case. I didn't think it would actually come in handy. So, now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? Theatricals. She can be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. Yeah. Anyway... Paimon had no idea you were a magician, Linny. It sounded like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine. The Opera House. But isn't the Opera House where criminal trials are held in Fontaine? When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. And speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. Might I invite the two of you to see my performance? My brother is always excited to make new friends. Sure. We don't really have anything to do now. And we wanted to go to the Opera House anyway. Splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Is there any way I can help? Oh, you really mean it? Then I'll take you up on your offer. This is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute them to the people here. Ooh, it's, it's a bag. Huh? What are they going to use it for? To throw up in. About that. Hmm. You asked me before about the prophecy, right? Let me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. It says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the Nation of Justice holds trial after trial, this sin cannot be absolved. Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise, and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. Ah, so I was right about a flood. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. That sounds pretty gloomy. Why are people in Fontaine born with sin? What is that supposed to mean? There are lots of guesses. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings and offended Celestia. 
But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed, wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? Why bother feeling guilty all the time? That's exactly what the people did at first. But in the last few years, the water levels in Fontaine have actually started rising. But now the water is... Hmm. Many places have already been completely submerged and now lie beneath the sea. Oh. Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But Phenomenal. my family and I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility, which would end up sentencing them to death. We hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. So, we've started distributing magic pockets to them. Oh. As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure they will come in handy when people are moving their belongings. Oh, it's a big one on the inside. Oh, Hyman gets it. It's like preparing for a rainy day. But this is more than a bit of rain. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. <laughs> but who knows? We're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. Now, if you'd like to help, then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. Okay. We'll shove it in their face then. Can we go up? Oh, we're still staying below. Okay. That's fine. Let's just pick them and get them back. Hello, officer. The baton there? Is it electric? What's this? Ah, so you also believe in the prophecy. <laughs> Keep it. I won't have any use for it. What? You mean you don't believe in the prophecy? No, no, I believe in the prophecy. But I also believe in another story. Ooh. The story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. But as time wore on, people desired to live on land and developed blood vessels, encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Thus could people set foot on land. So, if you ask me, when the water rises and takes us all, it'll be like we're going home. Oh, we hadn't heard that one before. But people can't live underwater. They'll you should probably still take it. <sighs> All right, I'll take it. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. Okay, man. What robot thing, man? I think it was wide hips, though. Look at this fucking thick ass fucking robot. It's totally it actually fit my head between those thighs. These thighs won't say thighs because it's a robot. It'll crush my skull in an instant. <laughs> so you're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking about. My apologies for not recognizing you earlier. Uh. Oh, a magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Hmm, that makes sense. Thanks. Oh, please, also thank the magician on my behalf when you get the chance. Oh, that's a question. Can I actually swim under the water? The... Yeah, the looks very lovely. I wonder if some of the water affects him. Ah, it's under the little boat to boat. Huh? 
I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. Life is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. Oh, all right, fine. But thanks. It's just that... If I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. Okay, what's that? Let's go and see it. Let's go to... There goes my brain. There they are. Oh? You already handed out all of the magic pockets? Hm. That was fast. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some... Uh, interesting opinions. No kidding. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the Court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help! Many hands make light work! Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. Alright, well, let's get some flowers then. I don't too far, just the way over here. Starfish. Oh, I am liking the the the, the outfits, the clothing people wear here. Oh, these. Hmm. Are... It seems we have to use hydro to collect from maritime flowers. There's a barber out there. I have her. I need to grab a Why we here grab a lot of this? Yeah. Knowing something like this it is going to most definitely be used to level up a camp. Yeah. Might as well grab more than we need. You made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've uh, also finished collecting right. a few here. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. No way. Mm. I'm in power saving mode today. <laughs> Otherwise, I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the Opera House. <sighs> Fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. So, we're going to the Court of Fontaine before we head to the Opera House? Good. Paimon wants a tour of Fontaine's largest city and try... Food. Try? Oh, Wait, shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl? No. Huh? What's wrong with her? Paimon didn't notice anything. <laughs> She's obviously a thief. Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. And sleight of hand. Watch her movements carefully. Your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. You two can ride the lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to run. Understood. All right, let's go. Oh wait, the lift is back. No wait, no wait. Wait, wait, wait. This way. I mean, I have a marker showing me where to go. What is this little... What the hell is that? 
<laughs> this one's in the forest. Oh, 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 look at the little guy. It's a, it's a, oh, of course it would be a poodle. Look at him, looking all dapper in his armor. Oh, it's she. Never mind. Woof woof. Good doggy, good dog. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, it's. Oh, I love its little outfit. Okay. <laughs> Small animals like that. And away we go. How many music? I mean, Genshin's always had good music, but. This one has something nice chill vibes there. Well, this is a fucking long lift. Oh! When will they do an update so you can pet the door? Really, I think it's a golden retriever. It kind of looks like. So I'm getting distracted. <gasps> this is the spot where Lenny wanted us to wait. Oh, look! Isn't that her? Great, but ready to stop her. Oh no! Did she notice us? She started running the other direction! What should we do? Should we chase her? Our job is to block this path. Uh, you're right. She might also be trying to lure us away. You wait. Nothing's happened for a while now. I don't wonder if Lenny caught the thief. Seems there's no re reason for us to stay here. Yeah, let's go. We're going to head back down. I don't know we're heading that way. Straight to the statue as well. Ah, fuck, I wonder if Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. N no, that was all. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. A anyway, I should be going now. Oh, thanks again. Cool. Look at that tree. It's like a uh, uh, well, uh, hydro tree. Oh, were you returning with the thief had stolen? Yeah, it was a uh, drug. That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. I saw the general direction she went, but Lenny twisted his ankle, and I needed to make sure he was okay. Oh, did you get hurt, Lenny? I'll be all right. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. In fact, it's feeling better already. If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Sorry, Lynette. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. What a slippery little thief! Guess things turned out all right in the end, though. What is the initiative paid off? All right, let's put this little detour behind us. We should go to the Court of Fontaine now. I'm gonna hit this first. Oh yeah, we can find out what the power is as well. Uh, obviously, there's gonna be a lot of water. Okay, 
getting on with. Not in the mood for all reading. Oh, so that's how we swim. Oh, that's kind of cool. So the 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 power we get is um, I don't know, it's still this. They're not slacking. There we go. Okay now that wasn't it. Oh, so it's not even like a, a combat related power. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> it didn't select it like I thought. Alright, oh, there we go. Go! Ooh. That's interesting. I'm not sure I can. So it like a... Oh, it's a... Oh, we got a finger gun? Go! Oh, that is actually pretty cool. We've got a distance shot. Okay, that is awesome. I guess from touch we've got the ability to swim on the water. That's probably what they were going on about. And probably breathe for a certain amount of time. So, we ride this thing to go into the city? What an ingenious way to get around! People in Fontaine really know how to use water! Well, it's the land of... This is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. So the door went into my car. Oh shit, I should also stick the phone on a charge. Because it's a little light. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is always the same. That's why it's better to travel with friends. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that, uh, well, you don't really talk that much. <laughs> Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. It's the same as being at home. <laughs> hmm. Whatever. Doggy. So there's a dog uh, just, just behind her there. Guess that's what it's like to be an older brother. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. Oh, it's... Uh, fuck, I forgot her name. Ah, what was it? Huh? Oh, I was just going to say it. What? Traveler! Pylon! Charlotte! Charlotte, there it is. It's Charlotte! This is not a thing oh, I, I, I do have to I never guessed I'd bump into you all oh, riding the aqua bus. In the story of my life, this is big news. I said this before, but we meet her during a, an event story. I mean, if you're someone who just got into Genshin and was playing the main story stuff, what are you doing in Fontaine? I didn't hear anything about you paying us a visit. There's some that still connect it. You wouldn't know what, how that we know them. Yeah, it's quite the coincidence. But as travelers, we're always on the move. It's not surprising that nobody knew we were coming. It's not on auto, but it's continuing. That's because we're on the move, I bet. Uh, so you still have no idea how the Hydro Archon knew about us? Oh, let Paimon introduce you to our new friends! I'm gonna touch them, let's wait and see. Because I definitely didn't touch them when it selected the next star. Oh, I died. No need for introductions, Paimon. I would recognize the great magician Linny and his assistant Lynette anywhere. I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who they were. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. 
Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. Yeah, I forgot about it. I forgot about it because it was a while ago when we met Charlotte. It's an honor to meet you. <sighs> now that everyone knows each other, Fontaine suddenly doesn't feel like such an unfamiliar place. Checking because I actually don't remember how long ago it was. So, what have you been up to lately, Charlotte? Any big news? Not too much. When there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. You could still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle, even if it's the same old topics. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. That's definitely a great work. <laughs> oh, you're right. Seems you know me pretty well. What I'm really after is exclusive, sensational news pieces that could shake the country. These smaller stories are a waste of my talent. Oh, I just remembered. I've been following a case lately. Well, a series of cases, actually. I just checked. It was May. The event she popped up in. So that was a That was... No, three months You mean ago. the serial disappearances of young women case. Ah. It's not a murder case. That's right. These stories are the talk of the town right now. And it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. I mean, this game is a 12, if so the one with a drop ready to publish when the case is finally cracked, and it's the headline story in the Steambird. Peggy, 12, because that's the rating in the UK. Oh, Which is when that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears in, of envy. In the US, I've already gathered all kinds of materials, and I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. What is the serial disappearances of young women case? You mean the culprit hasn't been found? Pretty much. That makes sense. That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. Damn. Oh, I've got a little, little, little camera on there. I love that. Seen again. Oh, and ever <laughs> since, after camera. a period of time, Ooh, another hat. girl disappears. A bowl hat. What the cases have in common Let's is that the girls are all of a similar age, no, and that they've all vanished just, just without a trace. But the scariest part is that to this day, none of the girls have ever been found. Damn. Many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection with this case, but shortly after each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. There must be more than one criminal at work. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has some precise truth behind it, waiting to be exposed. Uh, oh, sorry, someone wanted to come back in my room. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. <sighs> I just imagined for a second what I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. I'd pay any price to get her back, so and then find a way to track down the culprit. Is that foreshadowing? Is that going to happen? Is she is is she going to get kidnapped? Please don't imagine that, Lenny. Ooh, we can see the scenery in in in, in, in this in the, on the way. Oh, do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like the uh, entrance area to the uh, a place in uh, Final Fantasy 15. <gasps> oh! Oh, it looks so beautiful! This is why this is why I like to go dark and stuff because it seeing seeing it as you first enter into the game it adds much more excitement to it. Well, I 
really enjoyed chatting with you. Life should be full of pleasant little surprises like this. Yeah, us as well. The ride went by too quickly. Ah, oh, I love the music. Has, well, it makes sense as that kind of like opera feel, considering that the courthouse is called the uh, Opera House. Oh, I have an interview to get to. I should get going before I'm late. Okay, mm. Hyman hopes we can chat again soon, Charlotte. See ya! <laughs> Bye now. Oh, be sure to stop by and see me at the Steambird when you have time. What a tough job. Always running around and interviewing everyone. <sighs> well, where should we go now? Well, at least she gets a lot of exercise. If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides, I still have all the materials we collected. Sure, we wouldn't mind at all. This city is so huge, Paimon wouldn't know where to start anyway. Oh, okay, it takes... Oh, oh, oh that's... Oh, I'm... Oh, I'm really loving... Oh! Definitely has that kind of like steampunk kind of vibe to it. Let's actually look at the dialogue. What did it say? Of clothes. Ah, so we, yeah, we do have like a a a, a, a meter for the underwater. No, no, like last time we'll probably end up going to this thing. Where is it? I, I, I want to just like say screw it and explore, but no, 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 I'm getting stuck. So it's just the music. Ah, it's so good. Why do I shoot this with my finger gun? Water jet. That is cool. It's going to be interesting if I keep this because when I first started this game, I, I stuck with like the uh, uh, Animo ability because that just seemed so much uh, better. But then um, after, uh, but then it wasn't until Samaria I changed to, um, well, as you, as, as you saw, to the uh, to Dendro. So it'll be interesting if I keep this. I do want to see what special attack is as well. Ooh, robot. He doesn't have thick thighs though. Do you know what actually this kind of reminds me of? I mean, I think I think it, it was kind of based off of that uh, French uh, architecture as well. Is um uh fuck my brain. Yeah, I just thought the thing is on its way. Um, Bioshock Infinite gives me those kind of vibes. I actually need to pee, so I will go take a piss and I'll be back in a moment. And get ourselves some more water, because it is quite warm today. I forgot to mention it, it is quite a warm uh, day. And it was warm as last week, but it's still pretty warm.
I was just actually looking at the event, uh, events, like, and it's like they've got a lot of small event things going on alongside it. Let the magic begin! Let the magic begin! <laughs> I'm guessing this is probably not actually an event thing, it's just probably just a counter thing. Yeah, because there's no time list, it's probably just a story mission. Then there's a try thing. Then, no, his is a story thing. Let the magic begin! Oh! Ah! Alright, I just straight up got her. Let the magic begin! They just, uh, okay, they just, uh, okay, alright, we just straight up get her. No, that's alright then. I guess, uh, I guess that's fine by me. Maybe if we get a chance to have a look at her, uh, 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 uh my brain. Uh, the thingy, dialogues. This is our current abode. Ah, Fremine, you're home. Where did everyone else go? I have some new friends that I would like to introduce. Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. I see. Everyone is getting busier now that Father will be returning soon. I suppose that can't be helped. Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremine. He is a phenomenal diver. Oh. Uh, hello. Oh, he's, I think the thing in his back is like an oxygen tank. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. Oh, you sound very proud to have a diver as a brother, Linny. Sure seems to have a big family. <laughs> uh, Linny? Could you come here for a moment? Hmm? What is it, Fremine? Do you have something to tell me? It's all right, you go ahead. Oh, he's... he's... Uh... Hmm. Okay, I see. Cairo. Cairo, he's the ice... he's got ice powers. Is everything all right? Oh, it's nothing. We were just discussing a little housework. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, before I forget, the Traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremine? Yes, I went diving and gathered lots of materials. I was about to give them to you. That's our Fremine. Always quick with the underwater work. All right, I'll take these to the workshop. Oh, it's raining. Does that mean rain's a thing here? I mean, rain's always a thing in the game. Mm. Looks like rain. Oh, you're right. But wasn't it clear and sunny just a moment ago? Hmm. Fontaine's weather sure is weird. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are trials being held in the Opera House, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. <sighs> hmm? What's wrong, Fremine? There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Though we don't know where the dragon went, every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. Oh, I guess that's uh, that's the Archon's familiar, because pretty much every Archon seems to have one. When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! Should the Hydro Dragon be... If it's an elemental dragon, then having the power to make it rain wouldn't be very unusual. Hmm. Let Paimon try something. Hydro dragon! Hydro dragon! Don't cry! Hmm? Huh. <laughs> Does 
doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend, after all. It's no use! You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of romanticism. Or could at least play along. <laughs> Sorry. It might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Perhaps it can't be comforted by the words of strangers. Ah, uh, sometimes we might end up meeting it. Um. Hmm. It rained for longer than I suspected. Oh, it's already getting late. Was there something you needed to do, Lenny? Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to find a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Sounds good. You go ahead. You know. Oh, uh, are you leaving now? What is it, Fremenet? I'm in a hurry. Oh, I get it. You feel nervous delivering the materials for the magic pockets, is that it? Perhaps we could trouble the Traveler to help us take these materials to the Beaumont workshop and deliver them to the owner there? I'm afraid that Fremenet can be quite introverted, and the boss there tends to be pretty talkative. <laughs> Fremenet has always been a little afraid of her. No trouble at all! Don't worry, we're on the case! Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm quite useless when it comes to such tasks. Aww. I'll think of a way to make it up to you. Oh, no need, no need. This will be a walk in the park for us. Well, you fly, so we'll be flying in the park. <laughs> Alrighty then, which means we'll probably be on the air yeah, for so. That's like a little cafe. Ooh. Ooh, I can cook stuff. <gasps> Does anyone can buy food from this dude? Shaboying! Ooh, some recipe food. Ooh. 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 Do you see? I mean, I think we had some like these before. Let's buy these recipes as well. Sometimes we're going to need these for ingredients as for something. I've not got enough fucking cash to do it. the problem with this I don't know where it is once I get back so if I don't think I can sort by like a new one I think because that would be helpful oh well I see it when I see it I, I think that's it I don't remember seeing that Ooh, rats oh no it's this dish this we just bought which just requires sugar and eggs Do a little cooking. Oh. One kid with ten then. And this one. You see I don't cook stuff much just because I have a barber to heal me, so it's not like I actually need to cook most foods. I shouldn't have read what the name of it was. That bottle was a bit smart. Oh it's these things again, it's these, so it's the things that were in the shop. Oh, I forgot what he got. I'm gonna do nothing. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it that for now. Oh, this is getting more bitter. Do you sound British? Talk, can you talk again? Say something. You sound British for a second. Cute little guy there. Okay. Huh? Okay, fine. <laughs> Definitely sound British to me. Fuck. Ah, there it is. Oh, it's above us. I think it's so. Nope, the workshop's that way. Okay. 
And then, oh, I see. So let's go ahead up. I mean, it's one of the things I said enough times. We'll probably end up going in, in the route to it, so there's no ways to go uh, hello? off being path. Is there yeah. anyone here? Oh, hello there. New customers? Looking to buy, or do you need something made? Or perhaps you're just looking for a chat with me. Wow. Oh, no. We're just here to deliver some materials. Here they are. They're for making... Uh... What were they called again? Ah, these must be for magic pockets. I could tell right away. I've already made several orders worth now. Do we need to pay? No, no need. They've already prepaid several batches worth. When they told me what they'd be using them for, I even offered them a discount. But they insisted on paying the full amount, saying that I had a business to run. <laughs> it seems both their hearts and their pockets are made of gold. Wow. So, is Linny actually loaded? Mm, I can't say for sure, but who knows? Maybe there's good money to be made being a magician in Fontaine. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, is this machine what you use to make stuff here? It looks really advanced. I mean, guess by their standards. Oh, that's what that noise was. It's that thing going for boom. Why use your hands when a machine can do the work? It would be a waste not to use the latest technology. And wasting is a kind of crime. But where does a big machine like that get its power from? Water? Ah, uh, well... It's a little complicated. I'm not sure I can put it in layman's terms for you. But basically, everything we usually use here in the city is powered by indemnidium. It's a type of energy that's produced from trials. What? Huh? How can trials produce energy? Well, I'm not completely sure of all the details myself, but basically... When a trial is in session, the Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinale harvests people's belief in justice and converts it into energy to be used all around Fontaine. That doesn't sound good. So that's what its other function is? Hmm. I might heard that the Oratrice was created by the Archon to make judgments. But... I might still doesn't get it. How could something unreliable like people's beliefs be turned into a stable power source for these machines? Well, then. So. Oh, yeah! So that means the Hydro Archon relies on the machine to take the energy created by belief and turn it into power for all of Fontaine, right? Even though I've never heard anyone really put it that way before, it sounds like it makes sense. Besides indemnidium, we have another type of energy called Numusia. It isn't produced by the power of the Archon, but it is unstable by nature. Even now, it still cannot be widely used by civilians. <laughs> I thought I'd find you hard at work, but here you are chatting the day away. Since you're already talking, I'm sure you wouldn't mind a few words with me. Oh, we're gonna get to knocks and heads. Y you again? Didn't I already promise you that I'd have the more I owe to Conferee of Cabrier by next month? Why are you hounding me now? Yeah, but how do we know that you won't go running off by the end of this month? I want 50% today. Wait, no, 70%. Huh? You... Seems business isn't so great for the workshop. We've already finished our job and delivered the materials. Maybe now's a good time to leave? Hey, hold on! Before you go around trying to collect payments, why don't you settle your own debts first? A child! If Confrere of Cabriere wants to poach clients from Northland Bank, that's fine. But I'm afraid you still owe the bank a hefty sum of more. So why don't we work things out between us first, before you get back to your little conversation here? Ah, uh, you're from Northland Bank. But we said we'll pay everything we owe next month. Why are you hounding me now? <laughs> okay. Uh, Traveler, Paimon! I didn't think I'd run into you here in Fontaine. What are the chances? 
We're surprised to see you too! What are you doing here in Fontaine? You didn't want to stay in Stejnaya? We sh sure seem to have a rock room into a lot of friends today. <laughs> Long story short, I've already been in Fontaine for some time now. And honestly, things have been pretty boring. But it seems that fate brought our paths together today. Not only will I have some good friends here now, but ones who always seem to find trouble. Either way you look at it, it seems things are going to get a lot more interesting now. Pretty sure we'd want to avoid anything that you'd find interesting. Besides, our trip here has gone pretty well so far. Right, Trevor? I think we're already... <clears throat> uh, hey, you! Northland Bank boy! Aren't you forgetting something? Don't interrupt. It's not often I run into the Traveler like this. Why don't you wait for me over there for a while? Are you kidding? Aren't you the one looking for us? You really expect us to sit and twiddle our thumbs while you catch up with your friends? Listen to me, boy. If you boy. want your Mora, fine. Why don't you come and take it? Uh, they are messing with the wrong person. person. Hey, I just said not to interrupt. Oh, by the way, Traveler, the last time I took Tonya and Tuser ice fishing, Tuser said... Hey! That's way over the line! All right, boys! Let's see who has to pay up now! Uh, can you at least let me finish one sentence? Fine. Though the bank told me not to get rough with our clients, you're the ones who started it. This is an act of self-defense. <laughs> you two will have to be my witnesses, okay? Okay, sure. Uh, I'm sure this won't take long. <laughs> Oh, I'm actually. Oh, I was expecting this to play his child. All right then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shouldn't let your guard down. Fucking annihilated them. Oh, what's your deal, Brad? How are you so strong if you're just a staffer from Snezhnaya's Northland Bank? Wait, don't tell me you're. <laughs> oh, now you notice. It's a little late, don't you think? Just make sure you understand that you don't mess with Northland Bank. Got it? Uh, huh? Huh? Now's my chance! Oh, <laughs> he knocked him the fuck out! Huh. That was weird. I'm not sure. It's as if I suddenly lost control of my hydro powers when I needed them. Maybe there's something wrong with my vision? Or just a hunch, the uh, Archon of Hydro said, ah, 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 no, no. Strange. How could that happen? First time Paimon's ever heard of someone losing control of their vision. Never mind. It doesn't matter. If I want to stay sharp, I shouldn't be relying too much on my vision anyway. Besides, I always have my delusion in case I need it. Better not use your delusion too often. So what are you doing in Fontaine, child? I don't see its work for Northland Bank. Well, I guess it's because I've been in a bad mood lately. Huh? What kind of reason is that? Wait, since when do you feel down about anything? Yeah, he always seems so chipper. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I still have a lot to learn about myself. But recently, there seems to be some sort of restless power stirring inside of me. And I don't know why, but every now and then I feel like I'm in a terrible mood. Hmm. Maybe you losing control of your vision just now is connected with that power you're feeling inside. Hmm, that is a possibility. So about this I can't remember if I ever mentioned it before, but when I was 14, I fell into some unknown abyss. Oh. It was during that time I learned nearly all of my abilities. The one who took me under her wing and taught me was named Skirk. She was always quiet and very mysterious. Nobody knew where she came from or what she had been through, 
and she was always very strict when teaching me combat techniques. One time, I asked her why she was willing to take me on as an apprentice. From what I could make of her answer, it was because I had awakened it, and traces of it remained on me. She said that all my combat training would be useful in the future. But what is it? What did you awaken? She never explained that, but my guess is that it's related to a dream I saw when I had just fallen into that abyss. In my dream, I was in the deepest depths of the sea, and the boundless seabed was all around me. But in front of me appeared a whale that was so massive, I felt like I couldn't breathe. Oh, that explains his attack then. And when you face, uh, face him, he, he throws a giant whale at you. A whale? <gasps> oh, that sounds familiar! When we fought against you before, you summoned a huge whale that seemed to leap at us. Is that the one? <laughs> Pilot must have really read my mind. <laughs> That's just an abstract form of a whale that I create using my elemental powers. It takes that shape because the scene I dreamt of the whale has always been stuck in my mind. I'll never forget it. So you used the whale as inspiration for one of your moves? Huh. Seems a little twisted to Paimon. It's very... So why don't you just go ask your master? Maybe she knows the answer. You make it sound so easy. Ever since the incident I experienced there, I've never stopped searching for Master Skirk and that unknown abyss. But it's been years now, and I've still found nothing. There isn't even a trace of the place where I remember falling into the abyss. Oh, it sounds like some kind of ghost story. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of leads at this point, but there's nothing more I can do. It seems that strange encounters in this world tend to be elusive like that. Oh, seems the time really flies when I'm talking with you. I just remembered I have somewhere else yeah, it's I not need daytime. to be, so I should get going. What? More work for the Northland Bank? Uh, no, it's more of a personal appointment. Lately, I've been sparring with some of Fontaine's official champion duelists whenever I'm feeling bored. Official champion duelists? You mean it's their job to duel? Yep, in Fontaine, before a criminal goes to court, they're given one chance to defend their honor by requesting a duel with an official champion duelist. Ooh. The champion duelists are all powerful fighters selected from among the nation's best. And the duel itself is a no-holds-barred fight with no specified stopping point. So engaging in such a duel is regarded as a symbol of defending your honor. If a criminal manages to win the duel, they'll be acquitted, but if they lose, they'll have no choice but to stand trial. And the worst case scenario is that you're simply killed in the duel. Though it's rumored that Fontaine has a death penalty, from what I can tell, no one has ever been officially sentenced to death. Is it a guillotine? <laughs> so really, the only people who opt to duel are those who have suffered a grave injustice in being accused, or those who greatly value their honor. Otherwise, why gamble with your life? So, do many people actually get out of their trials by winning the duel? Apparently, it's exceedingly rare for anyone to actually win. Fontaine probably enacted this system as a way to show that the nation respects the honor of its citizens. I know that feeling of not being able to sleep. That was me sometimes. Wide awake. Things rattling around in my brain. I'm actually a little tired myself, but today I'm only tired because it's warm. Very quite warm. The the temperature suddenly rised up here in the UK. Besides, none of the champion duelists are to be trifled with, which is exactly why I was itching to ah. face them as soon as I got to Fontaine. Ah, yes. 
I remember that. The first scary movie I ever watched was The Ring. And oh boy. Uh, I couldn't sleep for a while. And after that I never wanted to watch horror movies ever again. I think I was like... I didn't watch them when it came out. Because that would have been stupidly young. Because, what, 2002? So I would to have been 11. But I think I was like 13 when I watched it. So it was like, I think it was being shown on TV or something late at night. And me and my brother decided to watch it. Like I said, not an ideal thing to do. Because that, that, that gave me nightmares for like a week. I'm actually sweating just thinking about it. <laughs> but a weird interesting fact about me I will not watch a horror movie no matter what if it's scary if people say it's really scary I won't watch it but when it comes to horror games and they say it's scary I'm like I'm in and I don't understand why my only fear is always that with, with movies it's a passive experience which increases the anxiety of watching it while video games are an active experience so it's a little less scary I guess two or a scary movies Jesus apparently the one I'm meeting today Clorend is the strongest of the champion duelists I had been asking her for some time before she finally agreed to face me today. Well, that's child for ya! Hmm. Kinda feels like we heard that name somewhere before. Cloran. Huh. When we met the, uh, 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 Hydro Archon. Oh, before I forget, I want you to have this. Oh. Huh? You're... Vision? You're seriously just giving it away? I'm just worried that it could become uncontrollable again. I'd be pretty upset if it got in the way of my duel. So, I think I'll be better off without it for now. Yeah, no, my, my, no, my brother was like as well. He would watch like tons of horror movies and just like, I'm going to sleep now. And I'm like, but how? Some people are just not uh, faced by horror movies. Besides, I just need you to hold on to it for a short while. I'll come retrieve it when I have some time later. Laughing at it? Damn. Definitely unfazed by it then. Heaven knows what you're up to. You just want an excuse to come talk to us again, don't you? <laughs> Whatever gave you that idea? I'll be in touch later. <laughs> that sneaky guy. He said he's been feeling down lately, but he seemed the same as ever to Paimon. <sighs> well, since we don't have much to do for now, we might as well walk around and see the city before Lenny's performance. Ah, it's time to explore. <laughs> also, just as a reminder, everyone's starting. Uh, I did have issues with internet connection, so I had to start half an hour late. Who could have seen that usual. coming? The reporter who was barely around for most of the story was the murderer all along! Uh, sorry. Paima was just surprised, that's all. <sighs> Paima never saw that twist coming. The murder mystery novels here are amazing! Ah, uh, <laughs> that's a shame. Mm. Oh dear. <laughs> well, like I said with the ring, that made me scared to look at TVs. Um, thankfully at the time when we wa watched it, we didn't have a TV in our room. That would have been worse. That would make it, would have made it even harder for me to sleep if we had a TV in our room. Um, 
and Warren it just randomly flickering on and going all statically. Oh, mm, thinking about it's just giving me cold sweats again. Never thought I'd see the day when Pine would enjoy reading. The hoodlamics here in Fontaine are a lot different than the light novels you see from Yai Publishing House. Both have their merits, but Paimon thinks this style of novels are more, well, novel. It's so exciting to reach the moment when the mystery is uncovered, especially in the one Paimon was just reading. You should buy a copy and read it too. I'm good. Oh, sorry about that. Paimon will be more careful next time. Uh, hey, shouldn't we be heading to the Opera House to see Linny's performance soon? It's almost time for the show to start, so we should get going. Linny says that the Opera House is on Air and Yes, so let's go ride the Opera Bus! Ah, but first we should uh, hit the little statue thing in here. I'm assuming it's up here. <laughs> Do a little bit of exp movies. Yeah, the ooh. Ah, no, it's a it's a wave point. Come on, this one will reveal the map. Ah, it's this way. So it might be even up where that is. Ah, I was wondering where the No wait, this is not. Oh this might be uh the thingy. Steam thing. Uh, uh, fucking the first disc one. The Palais Mobile is like the crisis of the last two I can feel a sneeze. I hate what happens. I hate when I can feel like I can sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze, but I don't end up sneezing. It's so annoying. I should see a beam of light where the, um. Arc is actually. It feels like it's probably up there somewhere. Damn it. This happens when I string I feel the urge to sneeze. But I never end up sneezing. It's really okay, this way we're going in. Which is probably where the statue is to give us a look of the map. Ooh. Oh, it's another one of these little, little fairy little things. Because before we find out what they are, call cool, the elevator. Find out where I end up fighting. <laughs> end up landing. Ah, I went too high, it seems. What the way I wanted to find the place. Ah, there it is. <laughs> oh, I love these dogs, though. <laughs> little, little, little hats on. There's a, there's a lot of um, waypoints. Makes sense. There's, 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 it wouldn't be the, uh, the the land of the uh, uh, Hydro Arc and we're having a heavy body of water. I haven't grabbed any of the, the little things yet. So like I said, he is a dilemma that I've got. Because of the delay of stream, because the internet was down for like quite some time, I didn't start until like half twelve instead of twelve. And as I said before, I have to get ready for stream, uh, get finished stream by three because I have to get ready for work. 
and the point is this next part of the story I don't know how long it's going to be because next time we're going to be streaming this is on Saturday because with long stuff like this Saturday is the best point because I don't have to worry about work and that's going to be a while so I don't want to leave mid because I can't exit the game even if we're in mid conversation it's just I don't want to leave the game like that so I think for the next half an hour we'll do a bit of explore even though the game is most likely going to take us to the different locations this must be the Arthur House? I just clicked and wasn't paying attention. No, this looks more like a library, I think. There's the screens. Oh, there's another one of these little guys. This must be their library. <laughs> I was really annoyed about that, that the internet just randomly, out of all days, for it to suddenly stop the size not working with the, with the release of the new area of content. So it seems like there's different levels to the, these areas. I kind of just want to take a dive into the room and see what happens. There's always one of those things we probably end up getting to it eventually. Aha! The body. Oh, Do you know what this is also kind of giving me vibes of a little bit? Is also um, Zora's Domain in, 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 in the Zelda games. I wonder how long it take. Okay, so so certain what I can do. Oh no, there we go. So how do I dive under? I can't really dive under this wall. I definitely may have a. Oh, that's not wall below. It's that is a huge body of water, if I ever saw it. Oh! I just meant we can look, since we um, got her, we might as well look at her... Uh, we gave Lin for free. I mean, right, right, let's see what her audio, her, her, her dialogue is on. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am Linny's magic assistant, no, and if you have work-related inquiries, please ask Linny. If you have Linny. questions related to seeing a magic show, please ask the ticket office. Very uh, formal, okay. Do you want a tea is ready? Now it's time for a short rest. Oh, did I actually go over a dialogue? You know, oh, you want to talk to me, then get get to the point. Seems Linny is saying some strange things again. It's really worrying. Entering standby mode. I hope nobody disturbs me. That's a weird thing to say. Rainy days are perfect for spacing out. You no, know, I do that sometimes now that I think about. The skies have cleared? What a pity. Ow! That hurts my ears. Oh, I issues a can't. <laughs> What's what? It then. So cold. Hmm. Let's hide you in a hat. When the sun's out. There is nothing new under the sun. Is that really true? When the wind is blowing. What's that on the breeze? Uh, nope. It, it's nothing. Uh, hey, good morning. Good morning. <sighs> Not fully recharged. No snoozing again. <laughs> She's doing like a cat. <laughs> Good afternoon. I usually drink a cup of tea before work. Not only does it change my mood, but also helps me stay alert. Good evening. After the sun goes down, the desires hidden in people's hearts will rise to the surface. I mean, evening shows are spectacular. Should I reserve a ticket for you? Good night. Go to sleep. I still have some loose ends to tie up from work today. I still have to fix the vacuum cleaner I broke. <laughs> she is very much like a cat. During our shows, I'm usually Linny's assistant. Because I never speak or change expressions, people often mistake me for a puppet. 
This kind of misunderstanding can prevent unnecessary social interactions. So it's actually quite nice. Ah, so you can avoid conversations. Making tea looks simple on the surface, but it is actually quite complex. The quality of the tea leaves, the temperature of the water, the number of times to add water. Only when every variable is properly controlled can tea of the purest taste be brewed. Mm, would you like a cup? I would love a cup of tea. Animals can also express their feelings. If you listen carefully, you can tell what state they are in. For a kitty, meow means they are much happier than And in that situation, you can pet them as much as you want, and they won't run away. She just made cat noises. Oh, that's adorable. If you explain a magic trick, then the allure of the performance is lost. Personal relationships are the same. If you want to understand me, why not learn a bit at a time and gradually piece together a complete picture? A person's mental state is like a bowstring. If it's constantly under high tension, it will be at risk of suddenly snapping. So, outside of work, I prefer to do things that relax my brain, like making tea, feeding cats, and just zoning out. The calmer one normally is, the easier it is to deal with crises when they do pop up. I tend to have difficulties operating any kind of machinery. As soon as I stop paying attention, all kinds of things start to go wrong. Once, I even broke the dryer on a rainy day. At least Fermine is good at fixing things. Pry open the shells, squeeze a bit of lemon juice onto the fresh shellfish. Mm, no plate necessary. Perfection. So she likes fish, even more like a cat. Please fix hmm. Dishes should not be over-seasoned. Good food preserves the original taste of the ingredients. Okay. Delicious. I've already memorized the recipe. Okay. So you see. Thank you for your generosity. And the third one? Perhaps you could reconsider the spice ratio a bit. <laughs> It's always interesting to see what the final one is. And birthday, so we should say if it's, a bir if you, if it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Let me give you this card. Hmm. It's not a greeting card, so of course nothing's written on it. Write down what kind of present you want, place it in my hat, and no matter what it might be, you'll get it. Ah, magic trick. Mm, that's all, basically all of hers. I was about to ask, check, but... Yeah, she doesn't have any other ears. She doesn't have four ears. For the longest while, I thought Dia had animal ears, but I did see a TikTok explain that it's just her hairstyle. And if we look at look at hers and switch to Dia, you can see the difference. It's definitely just how her hair shape is. She doesn't actually have ears. But at first, it looked like she did have four ears. I also forgot I got uh, offspring. I rolled for the Wanderer, and I got him as well. Uh, relax. <laughs> I am back to exploring because, like I said, um, unfor unfortunately, what with the with the internet being down for quite some time, I have um, uh, I have not streamed my usual length of time, and what have it been? Uh, almost twenty minutes before it's free. I don't want to start the next mission next part of this quest if it takes longer than that before we're out of the story part. And since the next time I'll be do doing this is the weekend. It's gonna be Saturday, I wanna do at least a bit of exploring. I go through that. There's different floors to this area I think we well, actually what did it say it stops? Can we Oh I was about to ask. I noticed something there. What is this building? Some sort of library. How do I get up there, though? 
I mean, I do have the Wanderer, I could use him. You'll get a little bit of a lift. Let's just try climbing it. Because I saw something up there. Because I want to see what the little thing is in this is. Should have enough stamina to get up to the first level. Sorry to keep uh, going on about it, it's just really annoyed me because I was so excited to start this and I feel like this because for like at least for the first story thing three hours is enough. Like we could have actually gone through this thing because like I said with with, with, with scenarios, the length of both the first two a a acts were um, kind of hard to uh, 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 what the actual it's fucking cute over there. Before we get to that at some point, so. Might have switched to the Wanderer just briefly. I'm gonna still see if I can do it myself. Plus, there's no reason, no reason to rush either, because most likely, it, where, where how long? Because I actually checked, like, in total, for like last year's ones, uh, give or take, with, with, with my streams, because at least six. six Six or twelve hours close to that for both acts. I mean, both each ones were six hours apart. Can I make this one? I think it. Wait, don't have food. It helps with stamps. Let's see. That doesn't. Oh, I was, I was wondering what the difference was between that and that. That's my. St oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Here it is, okay. Yeah, that should help us out a bit. And, and climb, and climb, my brain. Climb to the top. If I can just get to that ledge part of it, we should be good. Oh, there's a chest up here. I wasn't expecting that. I'll keep this close. The wood on the road. <laughs> Somebody does say that. Okay. Almost to the top of this thing. I know I saw one of those little cool things. to get above this would be to actually switch to the Wanderer, which I do have. Pretty sure, almost. I mean, then again, he can only fly so far up. I don't think he got... Like, and he's only level 1, because I only got him like last week or something. Just <sighs> vented out. Let's, let's, let's circle around, maybe. Okay, we'll switch to Venti for a bit. Not Venti, I don't have. I wish I had Venti. Okay, we'll do it this way. Uh, nope, that's not it. There we go. No way, that's that's not it either. That's how I switch counters. I'm such an idiot. Switch counters by going into here. Oh. Oh, that's different. Does the look of the uh, background determine on the locations? Now this is really nice. Wow, that is, I think we also had other teams uh, I made. Okay, uh, we'll just do it this way. We'll just do a quick swap. We'll swap her out for, wow. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to test that figure out in a second. Huh? Uh, oh wait, I see. Um, <sighs> Oh, they slide what do you in. for me? I hope this works. No, it doesn't. It doesn't go any higher. Oh, no, I think, actually, no, I think I can. I was pressing the right button. 
Behold. Yeah. No. No, that just slides me up. Oh fuck! Oh wait, 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 I forgot to use a stamp for this. Yeah, so it's okay. There we go. The wind rises. Work. Yeah, this not gonna work. Damn, that's so close. Unless you climb a little, then uses a bit of it. That might work a lot better. You're like, you know, let go. And then, oh, I can't. No, okay, that doesn't work either. Okay, back to this. So now I'm curious. Um, I'll take care of it. If we're like in different regions, does, it look, does the background on this look different? We can always test that out on that time, I guess. Cause I'm I still want to try and get up here because I saw one of those. Maybe there's another area I get up higher than this. Uh, to get to it. Because I can see on the map as well. It's like just around here. Maybe? <sighs> oh, okay. I was. Oh, I love the look at this one. Yeah, we've got it. Let's see what else we that's, that's a beautiful view. Like these, like these mountain sides and everything look like the mountains, the, the, the area should go up in like both Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild to get to Zora's domain. I mean, this game already took inspiration from that, so wouldn't be surprising if they did more inspired ideas from them. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's what the top of here. Maybe there's another one of those things on here. I was going to try and go for a little bit longer, but I think what we'll do, we'll get ourselves <laughs> near, hopefully near to where the next mission is. And I'll, uh, I'll pull in the elevator, I'll wait for it to come across. I mean, to be fair, can I just drop down to where it is? No, it looks like it's in the building. No oh, shit, fuck! Oh no, hang on, there it is. No, it is up. Damn it. Up, I fucked that. Okay. Cool what elevator. There it is. Can't be coming. Okay. There's a little skin around. There we go. So it's, like, so it's got to be this floor, right? I'm sl slowly worried that I might end up triggering the next one. Is this right? Okay, okay, yeah, okay, cool. We'll leave it here then. Actually, I guess we'll f I forgot I, moved, I didn't remove the little picture thing. Never mind. I guess before we actually properly um, uh, finish, why not try roll? do just a uh, one roll and see who we get? I will be surprised if we do get Lily, but like I said, I'm not too bothered if I don't. Like characters like him would be it's like it's like cool if I get him, not the end of the end of the world if I don't. Let's see. Yeah, it's no, because I'm pretty sure he's a five star. <laughs> I 
Wait, sis. Of course we win. That's alright, I'm fine with that. I mean, we've got two more, but it's one of those things that the only other ones I definitely want at the moment would be the Archon because I do want all the Archons. Uh, so if I have all of them except Venti, still don't have Venti. Uh, but then again, uh, the, usually the banners are like far, far, far away. So I still don't know. I mean, when it says maybe use the last 20 of these. Uh, now we'll leave. We'll leave it for the weekend because we still got the we still got the um the weekend to go ahead. All right, yeah, sure. We'll see. Even her little star constellation has a little kitty cat. That's adorable. Actually, what does the wonders have? I haven't actually looked at his um uh it's him. Well isn't that what we do? Wait, what's that? Oh it's always a travel, but I wonder how we could because I never actually got this fully up it with 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 um with Samara's one because it didn't really because the la the last two regions she just Got them uh, by purchasing them, I think. Not with real money, in game stuff. But let's see how this one pay plays out. <laughs> Dialogues here, because usually there might be like new stuff for like if we reach the new region, usually there might be. Oh, there we go. A Rama, a Rana, a Raja, a Rakami. Whew. Our and our names are so hard to remember. Ah. The oh, only bit I'm unsure of is that they all start with Ara. No, I think we listened right. to this. Right, so if you were an Ara... No, we did. Yeah. For some reason, the R&R is... Yeah, and no, I definitely remember listening to these already. Weird. A lot more here, but once I don't really have time, we'll save this for another time, I guess. But for now, I think we'll call it for today. Righty. Like I said, it's a shame about the internet, but hopefully, hopefully tomorrow and uh, the the rest of the week will be fine. It's just one of those days where it just decided it has happened before, where it just won't. It it would it would just be disconnected and randomly come back on like an hour, half an hour, or several hours later. Um, but thankfully, it wasn't too long this time. It, it usually ends up happening when I'm not streaming, which is always lucky. But this time, I decided to want to do it when I am actually streaming, which is really annoying. Um, but like I said, we'll continue this on the weekends because I have more time that way. Because tomorrow is Mass Effect. With Mass Effect, that one's easy enough. We can just do it's because it'd be a mission structure. We can just do certain missions and make sure I finish them uh, before, before the second stream. Uh, but with this one, because it, it's more like dialogue. I guess would be the correct term. And it, though it technically is like engaging this mission based bit, you know what I mean? It's like, um, um being, leaving it like mid dialogue and not coming back to, to the weekends. It'll be interesting to see how long each of these uh, story quests do end up being. Because uh, as, as I said before, la last year's one with Samara was about close to 12 hours for both the second and third. Uh, a second of my brain. Oh, second, the first and second acts of, of of this. So we'll be intrigued to see where this uh, goes. But they are all that. I've mean, it's, it's, oh, it's always exciting when they add new regions. Um, like, 
like I said, when the weather's suddenly warming up again, the humidity always gets me. It always makes me feel more tired. I can't wait for summer to be over, honestly. I'm going to have to feel this so drained because of the heat. Um, but uh, I hope also I might get my... G uh, they said G4, my... Uh, my, my uh, ranch GG soon. Uh, but yeah, it... it, it <sighs> my brain went dead. Hopefully, I won't, ho hopefully we'll have any issues tomorrow though. So tomorrow's going to be Mass Effect, so it's Friday is going to be Ma Mass Effect 3 because I still want to continue playing that. And it might be like this for the next couple of weeks because like I said, I have no idea how long both the first and second part is. Considering we spent like almost an two hours and a half and then it doesn't feel like we're at the end of the first act. Um, it's probably going to be a long one. It makes sense. The longer the, these games go on, the longer the stories are going to be, the longer the, the mission stuff is. But I wonder if it's going to go on as long as as Samaros, because Samaros didn't fully end until towards the end of last year. Um, and it'd be interesting if it would be the same, same here. But... That aside, I appreciate everyone to stop by. I hope you have a good uh, rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow for some uh, 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 Mass Effect free. <laughs>